Okay, welcome back everybody. We are going to put some slip on our small plate so we can create a uh, blank canvas for some image transfers. If you used uh, Phoenix or Loafer's Glory, you don't have to do this step. Your plate is already going to have a um, nice white background. This is Reclaim and it's got a lot of the chocolate clay that we have that standard clay that's really dark so uh, I'm gonna put a layer of Loafer's Glory slip on the surface to just allow the image that we put on the surface to have a blank beginning otherwise the black from the image transfer sometimes fights with the dark color of the clay so let's go ahead and open up our slip the slip is something that we have um, in the studio. It's Loafer's Glory dried and crushed up and then a little water and uh, some deflocculant. We used our van. So I don't have my uh, plate secured to the wheel. It's just on there by gravity. So I want to make sure that I don't go too fast. Now if your plate is fired, you don't want to use this slip. Um, your pot has already shrunk from its first firing and the clay particles in the slip haven't and they could easily just shear off or just peel off in the drying stage before it even gets to the, uh, the kiln. So this is for things that are still green or leather hard rather. Now it's not 100% that those iron particles or the manganese, magnesium or manganese um, specks that come through on like speckled brown won't show through the white, but it definitely masks a lot better than if it's just a plain dark brown clay. All right, so we're gonna stop there and we're gonna let that dry. And if it needs another coat, I'll put another coat on it. If not, we'll meet back when it's time to put the image transfer on. Okay, so our slip on the surface is dried. It's still leather hard underneath. We're going to take our images that we made and we're going to do two layers. So we're going to put our little birds down first and then our um, little bird cage on top. So in order to kind of get these lined up, I don't know if you can see that all the way through, but I'm holding it up to the light so I can make sure that the birds are right where I want them. So then if I lay this down and lift up, I know the birds are going to be pretty much where I want them with that on top. So I'm going to lay the bird under glaze side down first. I'm going to get my clean, clean sponge and clean water and wring out that sponge as much as possible. It should be very, it should be damp, but not soaking wet. So when we dab the sponge on the surface, the image should start to show through. I don't want it too, too damp because that water won't absorb completely into the clay. So if it looks shiny, like there's a little bit of a shiny surface on the rice paper, I'm going to wait until that's dry. If I don't want it dry, but I want it less wet. It should still be damp. Basically, if we start squishing it now, that water is going to seep in through the rice paper, rehydrate the underglaze, and make it squishy. So we don't want that to happen. So 
I'm going to slowly burnish from the inside out. Take my needle tool and lightly find a spot where I can lift up to see if that's transferred. So it looks like it's transferred pretty well. So I'm going to lift up. Now I can kind of see through. If you want, you can lightly dampen from the other side so you can kind of get an idea where that bird is and so my camera shut off like seconds before the video was over here's the final result I'm kind of get a little bit of a visual little birds in a cage on our small plate. Alrighty, see you guys next week.